Here's a quick video to show you how to be smart when using the automatic citations you get from the Internet. Most students know by now about using Citation Machine, EasyBib, or many more tools. These are all great tools to get you started, but they are far from perfect. Here's how I recommend using them. Did you know that when you find a resource in a library database, most often there is a citation generator tool there, too? In an article like this one, first find the automatic citation tool. Here, it's under Tools, but sometimes there will be just a Cite or Citation button. Here's what I get from this database in APA style, though you can usually change it to MLA, Turabian, or whatever style you want. And if you don't really know too much about your citation style, you might think, hey, that's great. But actually, it's not. This actually has lots of errors. Here's a correct example of a citation for multiple authors in APA. So, while this automatic citation has saved me some typing, I still need to correct things like the capitalization, italics, and DOI format. Here's how to correct it. Copy and paste this over to Word or wherever you're working. Put the correct example next to your citation where you can see it, then manually make the corrections. Some common errors which I have to fix here include fixing the capitalization on the article title. In APA, you capitalize it just like you would in a sentence. So in other words, only capitalizing the first word and proper nouns. Italicize the journal name and volume number. If you're wondering why that title has every major word capitalized, it's because the journal name is a proper noun. It's missing the issue number, so I add that in parentheses. The DOI is also formatted incorrectly very frequently. Here's the correct version. Here by the date is a random comma instead of a period. In the authors, APA says to have spaces between the author's first and middle initials, and when you have multiple authors, use an ampersand instead of the word and. Finally, of course, double space and do a hanging indent on all your citations. You can do that easily in the Paragraph menu of Microsoft Word. Now, here's my correct final citation. You can see quite a lot of changes were made from the automatic citation. But now, it's 100% correct. You can use this one as a model to create your APA-style citation, or to see lots more examples, including examples in other citation styles such as MLA or Turabian, go to this URL, libguides.uww.edu slash cite. If you're really stuck on how to cite something, don't hesitate to ask the library for help.